सतनाम 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 जी सतन तन सतगुरु दासन दास जी हैज टोल्ड मी दैट बंदा एक्चुअली इज अ स्लेव ऑफ गॉड हम बंदगी इज डिवाइन स्लेवरी ऑफ गॉड सो इट्स अ स्ट्रेंज वर्ड स्लेव बिकॉज़ नाउ डेज वी हियर द वर्ड स्लेव व्हाट डू यू थिंक यू नो स्लेवरी Africans blacks that were brought over to America and even the UK 400 years ago and for thousands of years slaves in Egypt and other places so slaves are normally unwilling but in gurbani we're a willing slave we do slavery of god willingly man beche satguru ke paas te sevak ke karaj ras the one who sells their mind to god guru man beche sadguru ke paas te sevak ke karaj ras all affairs are taken care of that servant so we willingly sell ourselves sell our mind to god the master we're willing slaves that's a banda while you have breath in your body do bandagi be a willing slave for the rest of your life every moment be in the divine slavery of god so what does that mean how do we actually do it how do we sell our mind to god guru satguru it's very simple guru nanak dev ji said hame deer grog ha daru bhi ismai kripa kare ji apni ਤਾਂ ਗੁਰ ਕਾ ਸ਼ਬਦ ਕਮਾਏ ਸੋ ਵਾਈ ਆਰ ਵੀ ਡੂਇੰਗ ਥਿਸ ਡਿਵਾਈਨ ਵਰਸ਼ਿਪ ਆਫ ਗੋਡ ਗੁਰੂ ਟੂ ਗੈਟ ਰਿਡ ਆਫ ਆਰ ਈਗੋ ਬਿਕਾਜ਼ ਗੁਰੂ ਨਾਨਕ ਦੇਵ ਜੀ ਪਰਮੇਸ਼ਰ ਸੋ ਗੋਡ ਗੁਰੂ ਨਾਨਕ ਦੇਵ ਜੀ ਦੇ ਸੈਡ ਈਗੋ ਇਜ਼ ਦਾ ਕ੍ਰੋਨਿਕ ਡਿਜ਼ੀਜ਼ ਨੋਟ ਕੈਂਸਰ ਨੋਟ ਏਡਸ ਨੋਟ ਕਰੋਨਾ ਵਾਇਰਸ ਨੋਟ ਕੋਵਿਡ ਵਾਟ ਐਵਰ ਵੀ ਥਿੰਕ ਇਜ਼ ਅ ਸਿਕਨੈਸ ਨੋਟ ਬੀਇੰਗ blind of eyes or deaf of ears or other physical disabilities the real sickness the chronic sickness dira grog is home ho is i ego ma i and me the pride the ego the sense of i am someone i am someone i did this and no recognition of god so ego is the chronic disease and tan tan sad guru das and das ji said explain that ego and pride sit at the top of our head sit at the top of our head like we say in english oh he's really big headed so ego and pride at the top of the head what else is at the top of the head the 10th door crown chakra and until this opens we're blind to god we haven't connected like the sky is above my head we haven't connected into the ocean of god around us like i'm breathing in air and air is all around me but i still feel i'm separate from the air ocean of air like the fish in the water is breathing in water breathing out water living in the ocean but still it thinks it's separate from the ocean so that's what ego does ego makes us think we're separate from the whole thing around us when we're just a drop in the ocean so how do we get rid of this ego home dira groga is the big sickness that's keeping us separate from the lord around us of being one so tan tan god guru king of kings tan baba nanak ji they said on the second line home dira groga daru bhi smai this is a chronic sickness ego but there's also a cure kripa kare ji apni ta gur ka shabd kamaye if we if god shows his mercy kripa kare ji apni ta gur ka shabd kamaye then one will earn earn the word of the god the word of god that came through the guru gur ka shabd the answer is there there's only one way to clear our head to get rid of our big headedness to get rid of our 
chronic sickness of ego which causes all our depressions all our false beliefs all our hatreds you hurt me i hate you i'm going to hurt you vengeful thinking the sense of self is the worst sickness and the best cure is gurka shabad word of god so how does that relate back to doing bandagi of being a slave of god of a servant well so far in our life what words have we been following word of god or a word of our own mind whenever we think of something have an idea i like this person i don't like that person i'll go here i won't go there we're following our own self wisdom that's called manmat or durmat if that self wisdom is evil to hurt someone that's called durmat evil wisdom and sansarik mat worldly wisdom what we learn from people around us but what we need to do is sell our mind be a slave of the guru's wisdom guru ka shabad guru's word god's word and where's the first source of that for us that's recorded in the holy scriptures granth means scripture holy scripture and guru granth sahib g is the treasure full of j- diamonds and pearls that fell out of the gurus and the saints mouth and got recorded and passed to us this is our real inheritance that our ancestors beloved gurus have left us this is a third guru said this is our this is our inheritance these diamonds and jewels the treasure chest of wisdom that's called sidi guru granth sahib ji so when we read gurbani now we say sadantang dasandas ji sadguru they explain everyone is being taught and i was the same do part part padna part padna now read the read the read the divine words part padna so we're all busy reading 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 all the divine words sukhmani sahib panj baniya netnam 48 hour readings in the gurdwara on the weekends everyone's busy reading but is reading enough part padna no part karna karna means do it do what you're reading guru nanak dev ji didn't write anywhere just keep reading and reading they wrote suniye maniye man ki ta pao antargat kirat mal nao suniye maniye listen to the wisdom maniye believe it man ki ta pao and love it cherish these words this treasure these diamonds and pearls and jewels that have dropped from the guru's mouth treasure them in your heart antargat tirat mal nao treasure them follow them on the pilgrimage inside your heart antargat tirat mal nao go on the pilgrimage to the heart so this words of divine wisdom brahma gyan is what we have to earn so every single word in shri guru granth sahib ji was earned it was it was earned by the tan tan the blessed blessed gurus and the blessed blessed saints they were writing their life story their own experience they weren't making up a fantasy novel everything that happened to them oh they've written it and left it for us and we have to believe it's the truth so we start with belief 
and we sell our mind. It means stop believing the part where the mind says, oh, is it true, that has doubts. That's the manmat, the self-wisdom. Get rid of that. If you're a slave of the master, then do be a perfect slave. Do what the master says. The slave says, oh, I don't want to get up today and do what the master says. That's the selfish part, the old wisdom. But the true slave, the divine slave will say, what does my guru say today? Read that Gurbani, put it into practice. That's called Bandagi. That's where we started. Tantan Sant Kabir Ji says, Oh, divine slave, do divine slavery while you still have breath in your body. And doing the slavery is to sell your mind to the divine words, jewels, gems contained in Siri Guru Granth Sahib Ji and do them, not part parna. Don't leave it just reading, part karna. Do it. When you put it into practice, when I put it into practice, that's called bandagi. And that's how we transform. And then that's how, that's the medicine that's going to erase this sickness that's sitting at the top of our head. This worst cancer, this worst of the worst disease, ego, Ame. So just to add that I'm going to share with everyone my uh, own bandagi, so at a personal level. So that was an introduction to what bandagi is. So I thought, with God's blessing, every day as I'm doing my own bandagi, I will share it on here. What happened today? Which line of Gurbani, which gem, jewel, that I try to put into practice and what happened in the day. So I'll share it with you, share my journey, and share what happens. So God bless everyone. And in the comments, why don't you, if you're doing bandagi, if you're getting inspired by this, why don't you share your own bandagi? Which line of Gurbani did you resonate with? And just put that into practice. Sometimes we're reading for hours and hours, aren't we? But just take one line of Jabji Sahib. Take one line of that Shabad you're singing. Take one line of something you read of the Gurus. And pray, dear Satnam, Satguru, dear Lord, God, Supreme Father, Sat Parabrahm, Pita Parmeshwar, please bless me to put this one jewel, diamond, gem that my divine gurus have given to me. Bless me so I can put it into practice and earn it and be a divine slave of yours so that my eye may also merge into you, my ego dissolves and I become one with the spiritual sky, one with the spiritual ocean, the Mansarovar, the ocean of love and light, a drop in the sea. Bless me, Satna. Bless me, Satguru. Bless me, Satsangat. Bless everyone.